typically most apps are deleted uh, within a three day period after download. And that decision is made based on the usability of that app, if it delivers the service that they want. So it's very important therefore that the onboarding process, which is the process when someone first opens the app, is delivering a, an excellent customer experience, essentially holding their hand through the sign up process and through the first use of the app to make sure that they know how to use it. And that increases the chances of them keeping it on their phone. There are a couple of types of monetization when it comes to apps. There's direct monetization, which is things like uh, cost for downloading the app in the first instance, or charging for things within the app. Indirect monetization is things like advertising, but a good example of indirect monetization would be something like a mortgage calculator app. So it's free to download, it's free to use, but once the calculation has been done, you're then encouraged to request a call back from a mortgage advisor, which hopefully will then lead on to a, a mortgage sale. So we worked on a project recently in collaboration with Tori for their client, which is a world-renowned heritage brand, Debrets. Uh, Tori had identified a new target audience and uh, an app was the perfect way to get to those people. Uh, it was a wedding planning app that allows people to assign to-dos to various people in the wedding party and also to manage their budget uh, throughout the wedding. The good thing about being a financial startup at the moment is expectations from a customer's point of view are quite low. Uh, which means they can make mistakes and they can learn from those mistakes. Whereas big organisations, uh, customers have high expectations of them already, so they can't afford to fail. And so the solution that they often come up with to compete with some of the smaller financial startups is to basically create small tools that they layer on top of their existing services. We might see in the future some of these large organisations acquiring some of the smaller startups because they're able to adapt their systems much more quickly um, than the larger ones are. We developed a new intranet system for one of our clients and the objective was to make it more usable and more efficient and in doing so we saved individuals approximately five minutes per user per month which doesn't sound like much but this organisation has 80,000 uh, employees so what we're actually doing is saving them 10,000 man days per year. When people think about digital transformation or digital disruption that actually it can be really small things that make a big difference.